The centrifuge is another piece of essential biochem lab equipment. It operates on the principle that by spinning at high speeds in circular motion, you're able to produce centripetal forces that separate the components of a solution into different regions based on their mass. There are two main uses for centrifuges in a biochem laboratory, um, and as a result, there are kind of two main types of centrifuges that you'll probably encounter in a lab setting. So, in the first case, we have on the left, this device would be used for spinning down cells, basically. Um, so, larger volume, lower RPM, typically. Uh, you can see that here. So, we have basically a max speed of 4,000 RPM. Um, RCF, which is basically the actual effective force that you're putting on the cells in this situation. Um, and so for most cell spinning, you only need 500 or so um, Gs of force to pellet your cells out, and you don't actually want high RPMs. So this centrifuge, for example, has 20 mil tubes that you're able to fit your cells in and spin them down. And this device is only about $50. That's the reason we have it here. The other application for centrifuges is for DNA purification and isolation. The explanation for how DNA isolation and purification is performed and how these centrifuges play a role in that is probably worth its own video, so I won't explain that here. Um, these devices, as you see on the right, operate with much smaller volumes, um, so typically 1.5 mil tubes is the size that these are fitted for. Um, and they spin at much higher RPM, so higher Gs, higher forces are involved. Uh, typically, they can go up to about 14,000 RPMs or so. Um, unfortunately for you know, DIY bio lab, you'll probably have to settle for fixed speed centrifuges. So basically, in this case, there's just an on-off button here, and that's it. You can't control the RPM of this at all, um, and you can get 4,000 or 10,000 RPM um, centrifuge for about fifty to a hundred dollars. Um, if you want to go for a variable speed centrifuge of this type, uh, you'll probably be looking at about three hundred dollars. So that is a big difference. So in conclusion, while these two centrifuges are probably much uh, smaller, simpler, and cheaper than most centrifuges you'll see in a lab in an academic or industry setting, uh, they do allow you to do a lot of the basic core components of biochemistry that you might be interested in doing in a DIY bio environment. One of my upcoming projects will actually be to build my own uh, variable speed centrifuge from scratch uh, to kind of address some of the limitations of each of these centrifuges and ultimately to get a more useful piece of lab equipment.